Collegiate Archery is one of our uh, flagship programs at USA Archery. Over 180 teams, I believe, nationwide of collegiate archers coming together. Um, they compete in a series of, of events, regionals and nationals, and they're specific to college. So there's three um, collegiate events. The Indoor Collegiate is part of the National Indoor Championship, and the Outdoor Championship for Target is called the National Outdoor Champ College Championship, so NOCC. And then we have this third event, which is the 3D Collegiate National Championship. It's not like just sitting there at 50 meters slinging an arrow at a yellow dot, you know? It's something that you have to actively play the game. It's like developing a skill and it's a little bit different of a game to play when you're shooting. We're shooting foam targets and the highest score you can get is 12. It's almost like you have to manage um, how you shoot and manage with your team especially, or if you're shooting against someone, you have to be creative in, in the shots that you take. It's probably most similar to golf, and if you're thinking about like walking through a course with a group of people and you're scoring together, and I really love that, and it's definitely um, a more like hunter-based kind of thing, but there are lots of people who have never hunted who love this tournament and do it just for fun to be with the team. You're either gauging distance or where you're gonna aim, and you're also trying to strategize on which part of the target you're trying to hit. And you can go down, if you hit the foam animal, it goes 5, 8, 10, 12. If you shoot all 10s, that would be clean. And if you shoot a lot of 12s, that'd be like 4 up, 10 up. A few years ago, the ASA and USA Archery got together and decided that they wanted, the USA Archery wanted an organization that was a professional 3D organization to host their 3D trials and their any 3D championships that they were going to conduct. Mike Terrell and those guys do a wonderful job running the ASA, and why not have top-notch program run your national tournament? So whatever we need, uh, they're gonna be there to provide it. They take us under the wing. It makes it easy as a coach to be here. We don't have to worry about meals. We don't have to worry about anything. Everything's already pre-done, pre-ordered. So it really lets us be coaches at the national tournament instead of worrying about feeding our team and this and that. Yeah, so this is a unique event because it's at the beginning of a school year. And these colleges have been in session from you know, six weeks to a month. And they've just gotten their teams reformed after the past year. Having a 3D Nationals first weekend of October is a challenge because the majority of the schools don't start till mid to late August. It is a little bit of pressure because of the, you're a month in and you're trying to go to class and you're trying to take care of all this other stuff. And for me, I work, but it is fun too. It brings a little different aspect to it. Going just straight from practicing straight to a championship felt like a huge change, but it was amazing at the same time. Like to see everybody come together, because you get to meet all these new people, you get to see all these new things, you get to go all these new places and it's just been incredible. In college archery is a long season when you got 3D now, You've got indoor in the winter, and then you've got outdoor, which doesn't happen until the third week of May. You actually have a long season. Like a, when we go back to our school, we have no off season. So uh, I, do, I do think it helps you jump start. It helps the students get into a rhythm, get into a schedule that uh, I think helps them, especially the young ones coming in as freshmen. It gets them on that routine that they need. I think for them, it's a good chance to see their archers in competition with a new team and to kind of get a a feel for who's going to show some promise or you know show some ability for the upcoming season for the indoor and the target. Well I think one of the most interesting things is uh, that I've learned as a new coach is that it's not only about teaching form and uh, and, and you know good archery discipline it's it's also about helping them with life I think it just really is exciting. Like I'm a nursing student I've got a lot of work and I've got a lot of work with this to balance, but I feel like, honestly, archery keeps me sane with school. I enjoy the hard work. So it's a lot of pressure to get ready to start up school again and get ready for a national championship, but if you enjoy it, you enjoy every bit of it. I actually talked to a, a freshman from a different university at our regional, and he'd played sports too in high school, and we was all real friendly, and we was talking like we wasn't really enemies. We were shooting to be the best we could, but we weren't exactly against each other in the aspect of uh, talking trash or anything like that and he said you guys are really nice I'm not used to this so I really I really enjoy that part of me just you can get together with a bunch of good people and shoot and it's a lot of fun. You're able to be with people who are in the exact same situation as you are so we shoot in the morning but we all have tests to take at night and so that's something that I really appreciate that I'm not competing against people who just have loads of free time to just go shoot. I think a lot of people shy away from these type of national events if they don't know the game because they have a feeling that well I can't be competitive. But you really can be. I mean, it's, it's just a target. 
You know, just because we use a 3D animal as the backstop, it doesn't, it's no different. And it doesn't have any special, you know, technique involved that, that you don't use in target archery. You just have to be able to dial your sight up and down to multiple distances. That's all. And that's really all it is. So if you're a good shot, you love shooting archery, and you want to do something maybe just a little bit different, then let's grow the pie. Let's make archery bigger and expand this aspect of the sport.